Hey, what's up everybody? It's truly DJ Roxy coming to you with another tutorial video. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to install your CDJ1000 MK3 um, with your Serato. So for this demonstration, you're definitely going to need a mixer that has a Serato integrated. Um, you need to have the communication between RCAs to your Serato mixer or if you have an interface um, just as well. I don't have an interface at the moment. Um, I have my uh, Pioneer S9 mixer that has the Serato um, integrated. So I'm going to show you how to hook up this. I'm doing this video because um, I did a video on why I prefer to use um, a cheaper model CDJ versus using uh, CDJ2000 or CDJ2000 Nestors. You know, why I prefer just, you know, going the cheap way out and getting um, a CDJ1000 uh, MK3. You know, you spend less money and um, you still have the benefit of having your Serato controlled by your CDJ. All right, so the first thing you want to do is hook up your power. Next, you want to get your RCA wire. You have to make sure that uh, your red goes with the red and the white goes with the white. Um, if not, the Serato is going to be playing in reverse. You have to be, you know, sure that your your wires are connected properly in the direct manner. All right, next you want to go in the back of your mixer. You will have um, CD slash lines or funnel. So funnel will be if you're hooking up your turntables, your 1200s or whatever turntable you have. Now since we have um, a CDJ, we're gonna hook it up to line. Like I said, red with red and white with white. In this case, I have gray, but in, um, in orange, but orange uh, represents the red and the gray represents the white. Next, what you want to do is go into your Serato, settings, go into audio, right here where you see turntables, if you're using uh, the phono input, or uh, better still, your turntables, you will go right and select this. But since we are using in this demonstration our CDJs, you go right here and press CDJs. Always make sure that you have your Serato control CDs. So when we press play, automatically our Serato or our CDJ will send a signal to the mixer and the mixer will send a signal to the Serato. And um, Yep, as you can see, if I go back, go forward, if I press stop, it will stop, you know. So, yep, that's how you hook up your CDJs. Alright guys, so there you had it, how to hook up your CDJ uh, to your Serato. I hope this video was a help to any of you guys out there, especially you new guys who's trying to do this stuff, you know, and trying to figure it out. Um, I hope this video was a help to you guys. Um, if you want to show your appreciation, I'm going to leave a PayPal link where you can donate anything, any, any amount that you think um, is value to, you know, the information in this video. Alright guys, just giving you a quick reminder that um, this process is the same if, no matter which uh, line of the CDJs you're using. I mean, if you're using 2000s and 2000 Nestors and 2000 Nestors 2, um, you have other ways to connect to your Serato, you know, you have your USB output. But if you have, um, let's say, an 800, whether you have the MK1 or 800, MK2, um, it would be the same process as this, you know. Um, other CDJs like the 850s and stuff like that, they have the USB capability, so you can also um, take advantage of that. Uh, if not, you know, this is the quickest way out. Um, also, um, if you're not, you know, if you're hooking up to USB, uh, you don't need to have one of those um, USB uh, extended ports or whatever the case may be, you know. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I hope this video was a help to any of you guys. Subscribe to this channel uh, for more and more videos coming up. Until next time, it's your boy DJ Roxy.